This is Lisa from Lisa and Lisa's Eats, entertainment, adventure, travel, and sisterhood. And we're here at Meditara Catering, which is really nice. I had the shashuka without the bacon. And um, I'm actually going to take my leftovers home and try it with turkey sausage. But the atmosphere was lovely. The price is it's a little pricey, but the atmosphere was lovely and I really enjoy my food. I actually rated a 4.7, but it was a little crowded. You had to you know, get there early, get a nice seat. They closed at four, so um, it was a little crowded, but I rate them, the food tasted good. Matcha Express and on ice, and it it's, tastes earthly, but I'm used to it, but it was really good. Hey y'all, my name's Michelle. I tagged along today with Lisa and Nisa Eats. We came to Mediterra Catering. I had an awesome time. I'm not a normal food blogger, but I'm gonna tell you what I can. I had a mushroom melt. I love the way the bread was cooked. I love the butter. I love the olive oil taste. I love that there was some type of sweet jelly on my sandwich mixed with some cheese. It was good. I had uh, a green tea drink. I did ask for double honey. I don't think there was double honey, but I think they had a lot going on because it was rush hour. So I'm gonna give them grace on that but it was a good atmosphere. I'm used to crowded places because my family is big, okay? But I would love to see them get a bigger restaurant to help with the atmosphere. So I would rate their food. If I could give two separate ratings, I would do the food, I would say probably like an 8.5. And then I would say for the atmosphere, I would give it probably a six. Because like I said, I loved it, but I wish that it was bigger. I wish that there was more space. A lot of people like it. Everybody wanted to sit and socialize because it was just that comfortable. It's just that it was just that tight. Oh, I also had a dessert. I had a pastry uh, that was made out of croissant bread, but it had a creamy filling and it was called a chocolate covered strawberry and it was really, really good. It wasn't dry. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't cold. They made sure it was warm and I loved it all. So if y'all get a chance, check it out. Y'all take care. Okay. We're here at Terra. Okay, Mediterra Eatery. Um, it's cheese. They got specialty cheeses, specialty bread. A little bit of everything. Their pastries are amazing. The tuna melt was, it was good. It wasn't your natural tuna melt where you're like traditionally mayo and relish and all that. It had like a little vinaigrette. It had some, um, some uh, marinara and it. it was really, really good. And then, um, I had a side of fruit, just regular fruit, strawberries, you know, um, blueberries, stuff like that. Very, very traditional. Then I had a cremuffin. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong because I said it wrong three times, but it was a beautiful croissant with like inside of a muffin tin with like strawberries. Like that. It was actually my friend Michelle's and I, I decided to have a little, little, little bite. And then I bought two because I want to get one for the crib. And then I also got a almond croissant oh my god it was so good it tasted just like a burnt almond tort it's like toasty almonds and um like a nice little uh seems like a little cream inside it was so good so when you get a chance i bought like four cheeses because i just i love some cheese when you get a chance come up and see this place it is a little packed it's a little packed um but that means the money must be good here um and they have a really good system i did not know what i wanted I was a little overwhelmed about what to get and they were very, very um, kind to me. They were very, very patient. And that's hard to come by in the, in the food industry. So I'm happy about that. So I would give it, I did get green tea and the green tea was, wasn't sugar, it had no sugar in it, but you know, us Americans love us some sugar. I just need a little bit of honey. Yeah, I didn't really feel like it was giving any honey, um, but to balance out the sweetness of the pastries, I think they kind of did what it was supposed to do. Um, so 4.8 out of five is my rating.